Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my workwear essentials video. These are the key pieces in my wardrobe that I reach for time and time again throughout the work week um, that I can kind of mix and match and create lots of different looks with. And I have gotten some requests um, to do kind of my top five favorite blazers and skirts and um, companies that I kind of turn to or brands that I turn to for my workwear. And I am going to do a separate video on some of my favorite brands in general for all of my clothing, whether it be business or casual. Um, but for this, I'm going to focus on just my workwear and I will kind of talk about some of my favorite places to shop for all of these items. So I'm going to get started with um, kind of layering pieces since I do work in a office environment at least Monday through Thursday and um, when I am in the office it is always freezing no matter what office I've ever worked in it has always been freezing so I like to be able to layer um, either with jackets or sweaters um, so that I can take something off in the heat of summer and go out for lunch and not have to worry about um, being freezing when I get back to the office so I'm going to start with some of those layering pieces that I wear underneath and the first would be camisoles. I have so many camisoles. These are actually some new ones that I picked up from J. Crew. I got one in black, I got one in off-white, and I got one in this kind of pink blush color. These are just their v-neck camis. Absolutely love these and needed um, some new ones for spring. These will go great under jackets and under cardigans mainly. That's how I wear them and I usually don't wear these um, kind of on their own. I would wear this during this time of year in spring, especially when I know I'm going to be keeping my jacket or sweater on since I don't like to show too much skin at work, but um, I absolutely love these. And another great brand or store that I love to shop in for my work wardrobe is Banana Republic. And I actually live really close to a Banana Republic store and I have thought about more than once getting a job there just to get the discount, a second job, um, because I do spend so much money in that store store but I think they do really really great classic work pieces and um, I have owned many many of these in my lifetime from Banana Republic these are just a very simple shell this is um, in a nice kind of sh um, I guess shell pink color and I picked this up I think last year um, and I have so many of these I've got them in black and white and navy and um, absolutely love these for layering underneath jackets and cardigans and all of that and on the lower um, sort of end of the spectrum price wise, I have recently discovered Uniqlo and um, they do some great shells as well. I just picked up this black one. It's really long and it's a great um, layering piece, especially under a long cardigan or um, even with just a pair of jeans on casual Friday. And the next sort of under layer I'm gonna talk about are blouses since they are a staple in any work wardrobe. And I've got a few different examples here from brands that I love. Um, one is the Portofino shirt from Express. I've talked about this on my channel before. I have this blouse in so many colors. I have it in black, I have it in white, I have it in kind of this blush color and also to add a little bit of a fun pattern I recently picked it up in this leopard print and this just looks so great under a jacket under a sweater or just by its on its own by itself you can wear it um, tucked in you can wear it out it is just the perfect um, blouse at a great price point especially when you can get them on sale they're usually like buy one get one 50% off at Express and um, I absolutely love these and I don't know what I'm gonna do if they ever get rid of the style <laughs> and if you go for a more sort of natural fabric I definitely would consider some silk blouses for your work wardrobe and I've recently discovered Everlane's silk blouses they do absolutely gorgeous silk blouses I've um, had some silk blouses in the past from J. Crew that were really, really nice quality, but they didn't fit me sort of perfect. These are their slim fit um, silk blouses. I have mine in a size medium, or actually, is it a size? It's a size eight. <laughs> and it actually fits me perfectly. The shoulders on this are perfect. It is a little bit long, but I like that because you could wear it out if you wanted to, but I typically will tuck my silk blouses in. They look great when you really want to have um, that professional look, and they are so super soft and breathable silk. I absolutely love these blouses. And another style blouse that I wanted to just mention also 
from Banana Republic, this in this case, are um, these kind of tie neck blouses. I absolutely love the way these look. I usually will wear these more in the winter time, but they just give that little something extra because I tend not to wear too much jewelry um, and accessories. I do like to kind of dress things up with scarves, but this, you don't really need anything. You can just throw this on with a suit or with just a jacket and a nice pair of slacks and it's absolutely perfect for the office. So now that we've talked about all of these sort of underlayers, I'm going to talk about what to wear on top of all that, which for me is definitely in the office all about suiting and mix and match separates. So I like to buy suiting from companies where I know I could buy like a skirt, a pair of pants, and maybe even a dress. And one of those places um, that I'm gonna focus on today is Banana Republic. Another one that I love is J. Crew. Um, but so many, uh, there are so many brands that do great suiting, but I have been just turning to Banana Republic for years. I love their lightweight wool suiting and um, I kind of wear it year round. And I pulled out just an example of these pieces in black because black kind of goes with everything. And I love being able to kind of mix and match and wear all of these pieces separately or together to kind of get different looks. So the first piece I have is just their two button blazer in black. And again, this is in the lightweight wool. I absolutely love the, the fabric of this. It is um, a lightweight wool, so you can kind of get away with wearing it in the spring and in the fall um, without anything else. You can wear it in the winter with kind of an overcoat. Um, and in the summertime, I tend to wear this to the office and then take off my jacket if I am going um, out because it, you will get quite warm wearing a blazer in the summer here in North Carolina. But um, I wear these all year round and I absolutely love the, the suiting. Um, I typically will wear these pants separately from a jacket. So I might wear like a jacket, a black jacket with a pair of gray pants or with a pair of beige pants. But these are just an example of their straight leg um, version of their suiting. And I love that these are a little bit cropped, but not super cropped. So I can wear them with a nice pair of heels or with flats and um, they're great because I don't have to tailor them. So that works out really nicely. And the next piece of suiting I have from Banana Republic are the pencil skirts. I absolutely love the pencil skirt. I think it is just such a timeless, perfect, classic piece to have in your work wardrobe. I have this particular lightweight wool one in both the black and the gray. I keep them on the same hanger so I know where they are. Um, and I, you can pair it with the jacket or without the jacket with just a simple blouse or pretty much anything I've talked about. All you can mix and match together and create so many different looks with just these pieces. And so that is sort of the um, basics of my work wardrobe. The next piece of clothing in my work wardrobe that I wanted to focus on is the sheath dress. And I talked about um, some of my suits that I've purchased from Banana Republic and from J. Crew. I also have the matching dress and I do have a matching kind of sheath dress that goes with this. But for some reason, when I was going through my closet, this is the dress that I pulled out. But I do think a little black dress, whether it be sleeveless or whether it be this one has kind of short, um, kind of puffy capped sleeves, but these are, just an absolute work miracle. They just, <laughs> they are just so simple to throw on under a blazer, under a cardigan, um, just to wear it by itself in this case. Just a really easy, simple piece. And I do look for ones that go right to the knee or right just above the knee. I don't like anything too short or um, midi length on me because I am not very tall and that is not as flattering on me. But um, I do think Banana Republic and J. Crew are two stores that I turn to time and time again for these pieces. And not only can you wear them to work, but you can also dress them up to be your little black dress for going out in the evening. So perfect wardrobe essential. And my next wardrobe essential would be blazers. I am such a blazer girl. Probably about a quarter of my closet is filled with blazers. Um, I've been working in the corporate world for a long time and I've had a lot of different blazers and I've recently kind of done a little clear out because I had some that were no longer in fashion, um, but I do have quite a few to talk about that are some of my favorite blazers to kind of help elevate my outfits or change up my looks. The first one is probably no surprise for anyone who knows I purchased this. This is my Anina Bing Madeline, I think it's called, blazer. Um, this is more of a boyfriend style blazer in this beautiful 
um, check pattern. It's got this little bit of kind of deep reddish pink and um, a lighter pink detail going through it. So you can wear it with something red underneath. You can wear it with something pink underneath. I wear it with black, with white. Um, and it's just a really beautiful fabric, a beautiful drape, and something that I know I will get a ton of wear out of. So investing in a nice quality designer blazer, this is the first time I've done it, and I definitely can see myself doing more of it. The next blazer I'm gonna talk about is the Statement Blazer, and I have this one here from Karl Lagerfeld, which is a pretty recent purchase. I love the details on this. I love um, kind of the fringe around the collar and also on the pockets. It's got these gorgeous buttons and it's got this really nice um, ruffle detail on the sleeves. This is the perfect blazer to kind of dress up a, an outfit on Casual Friday with a pair of jeans or you can wear it um, over a dress with a skirt um, during the work week. It just kind of goes with everything and it's a really nice way to inject a little personality into my otherwise pretty um, standard classic work wardrobe. <laughs> and if blazers aren't your thing or you're not looking to invest a lot of money in blazers, maybe you work in an environment that's a little bit less corporate and you're not wearing blazers all the time, you can definitely find some great deals out there on blazers. I would definitely check out what um, they're carrying at Zara, at H&M, at Forever 21, stores like that. I've got a few examples here to show you as well as what I am wearing. This is actually an older um, kind of blazer jacket thing that I picked up from H&M a few years ago and I've gotten a ton of wear out of this. I typically will wear it like I am today, quite casually with just tank top underneath and I threw on these pearls because we're gonna talk about them later. Um, but uh, this is just a, a really nice staple piece that I spent probably under $20 on and I have it also in black with kind of a white um, kind of tweed print going through it as well. And then I also have this um, beautiful plaid blazer that I picked up this year from Zara. This is more of a boyfriend fit double breasted blazer that is a little bit too heavy for kind of summertime, but um, definitely a staple piece that goes with so many things in my wardrobe. And the last blazer I have to show you was actually my sort of bargain find of the year. I just picked this up recently from Forever 21, and it is this sort of off-white um, boyfriend style blazer. I was looking for something really simple that I could just throw over top um, pretty much all of my spring and summer attire, something that wasn't too fussy, not too fitted, um, but had a nice drape to it, and this fit the bill, and I wanna say I got this for like $22, so really great deal. Definitely check out Forever 21. And when I'm not wearing a blazer into the office, you can most often find me wearing some type of cardigan. I have so many cardigan sweaters. I've got everything from the sweater blazer to the more kind of short cropped cardigans to the really long cardigans. And the pieces that I'm really, really into right now are those super long cardigans. And um, I've got two here. These are from Banana Republic. They are in 100% merino wool, but it's a really nice lightweight merino wool that has such a beautiful drape and you could wear this over um, any of the pieces that I've shown you as well as with a pair of jeans or with a pair of kind of skinny trousers. I absolutely love these and you could belt them or just wear them as you see them, just kind of like a long layering piece. Next, we're gonna talk about shoes and my most worn shoes in the office. And that would definitely be the classic pump. And I've got a couple pairs here to show you. I've got these from Banana Republic. These are their 12 hour wear, I think they're called, um, pump that have the really pretty little V detail on the toe. I have these in just like a classic black. I love the heel on these. It's not too high, not too low, and it just is a staple for my work wardrobe. And I also have my kind of classic staple Cole Haan beige or nude um, pump. And if pumps just aren't your thing and you are more of a block heel type of girl, then you are in luck because there are a ton of them out there right now. Um, I have a lot of block heels, but the my favorites have to be my Chanel sling backs. <laughs> These are absolutely such a timeless, elegant, classic piece that work with all of my workwear 
wardrobe and um, something that I just think are so comfortable and like I said classic timeless elegance and in terms of flats I had to go with my favorites my Chanel uh, ballerina flats I absolutely love these little guys I think they just kind of elevate any outfit they work with anything and if you're not someone who likes to wear heels at all and you prefer flats um, these are a great investment piece and if you don't want to spend the money on Chanel I have had many 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 ballerina flats over the years that resemble these shoes and there are tons of them out there um, I also have a lot of ballerina type flats that have kind of that pointier toe J. Crew does some great ones Banana Republic does some great ones so um, those are definitely some of my favorite brands for ballerina flats and these are definitely something that like I said elevates any outfit and it's just a timeless classic way to go and in terms of accessorizing for work, I have mentioned many times in my videos, I'm not someone who wears a lot of jewelry, but when I do, I really prefer kind of simple, elegant jewelry. And one of the pieces that I could not be without in my work wardrobe is a pearl necklace. I have several. Um, this one, I believe I had picked up from Banana Republic. These are just some freshwater pearls. I've got um, some from Naked Pearls that I was gifted and I wear those absolutely all the time. I've got um, quite a few sort of faux pearls, I guess you would say. Um, longer strands, shorter ones, everything in between, but definitely pearls are a way to go. And I normally would have them on with my pearly Earrings, but I just threw this on to make the video and another great way to accessorize your work wardrobe if you are not into jewelry is with scarves I absolutely love scarves I definitely need to do a scarf video at some point soon um, but these are some that I just picked up in this polka dot since polka dots are so in and um, I definitely wanted something with polka dots and I found these at a little boutique and they were like ten dollars and it's just such a great way to throw on a little bit of polka dots and just change up your outfit and accessorize. Next, we're gonna talk about handbags and the handbags that I reach for for work would be one of two different styles. The first would be a tote bag. I absolutely love my totes for work and this one is my Saint Laurent that I got last year and could not be happier with. I get a lot of questions about this bag, um, about how I like it, how is it wearing. It is wearing absolutely beautiful. It has softened some, but there are no scratches and it is just in perfect condition. And this is just such a beautiful, easy to carry tote that um, just always looks professional and classic for work. And it carries my laptop, um, my glasses, anything that I need to throw in there for the day, as well as my Louis Vuitton <laughs> pochette, which I almost always keep in there with my day-to-day -day essentials. And the other style of bag that I consider an essential for work would be a handheld satchel style bag. And the one that I have chosen for this video is none other than my beautiful new to me vintage Chanel Kelly bag. I recently picked this up and could not be happier. I think this is the perfect size bag for work. It carries all of my essentials except my laptop, which I would have to carry separately, but um, it looks just great. It elevates any outfit. You can wear it on the crook of your arm. You can just hold it handheld, which is how I prefer to carry it, and it just is so, so elegant and perfect. And when it comes to beauty for the office, I could do a whole separate video on this. I tend to kind of go pretty neutral in terms of my makeup. Every now and then I'll throw on a little pop of color on my lips, but um, I don't wear anything too heavy. I don't want my makeup to be the first thing that people see. Same with jewelry and um, same with fragrance. I like to wear fragrances that are subtle. It has got to be something that is office appropriate and something that is not offensive to all the people that I'm sitting around. My favorite go-to fragrance is of course none other than my Chanel Number no. 5 Low, which I think is just the most elegant, timeless, feminine, beautiful, floral fragrance <laughs> ever. So that is it for my workwear essentials. I hope you enjoyed it. I will try to leave most of, if not all of the items that I talked about down below. And please leave me any questions you have about anything I've talked about in the comments. I love getting your feedback on all of my videos and um, corresponding with all of you here on YouTube. It really makes my day. So thank you all for watching if you've made it this long and um, I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye.